Here at the end of a delightful spring day is the Estadio do Maritimo, still known here as Estadio dos Barreros in Funchal on the island of Madeira off the southwest of Portugal. And here you see the two teams going through your screen, both off the back of good wins at the weekend. Portugal beat Hungary 3 0 in Lisbon, but they have picked an almost entirely different side. Of course, there'd be a major outcry had Cristiano Ronaldo not started on his home turf. The other ten all changes, amongst them a debut in goal for Braga's Marafona. Another chance to see Monaco's Quicksilver frontman Bernardo Silva, as well as the dominant Bayern youngster Renato Sanchez. Ronaldo Sanchez and from the bench Moutinho are the three here who featured in last summer's European Championship final in Paris. as recently as last November for a Champions League game involving Benfica. Sweden 4-0 winners against Belarus on Saturday also opt for wholesale change. They too have just one common factor, in their case it's experienced centre-half and captain Andreas Granqvist. Otherwise they also have one debutant in Bologna defender Philip Elanda. There's a second cap for Sam Larsen, the midfielder currently with head and vein in Holland. And another chance up front for Anderlecht, interesting striker Isaac Kisa Taylin, who did come off the bench and scored competitively at the weekend. Take it from Nyman. And Nyman has fed Klassen. And Klassen teed it up for the in dashing Sam Larson, who didn't get over his shot. And saw it fly high. Another indication of the festival mood here. As the Mexican wave begins. Here's a Nyman. A lot of space for Victor Klaassen. And Klaassen's got a shot away and Marathona has clung on to it. Continue it. And by Martins, Ronaldo! Makes himself back at home! It's what Madeira showed up for. A goal from one of their own. One of their own. Cristiano Ronaldo was obliged to score tonight, and so indeed he has for his family, for his extended family. On his island, his goal. Laid on for him by Gelson Martins, and he was not going to pass up that moment. The man of Madeira scores for all Madeira and scores for all Portugal for the 71st time. Of course he does. And Christ. Taylin. It's a really good ball. Crafts onto it, and his pass for Nyman was ideal. Nyman's finish wasn't. Centre forward couldn't have asked for a whole lot more than that. Kraft had made up many a mile from fullback, and uh, his delivery was impeccable. But Nyman, albeit short of time, had space and target area. Nervously away by Hult. Back in for Ronaldo! 
Keep his applied a fingertip. It's actually a very good save by Jonsson. As they were climbing off their seats again. Beautiful ball in by Cancelo. Required a spring of the <laughs> running by Moutinho, dropped by the keeper Bruno Alves, slashed at it. Moutinho, Neto competed for it, Elanda got it, rid of it, and Seb Larsen. Carries it out of harm's way. Drawing as he did, a foul challenge from uh, Eliseu, which results in a Swedish free kick. A steady moment for Carl Johan Jonsson. That's one, though, with which he's got away because uh, Bruno Alves was not in his. Natural territory. His goal scoring record is bad for Portugal. Yeah. Goals for the national side, one in eight. Bad for a centre half. Danilo. Renato Sanchez. Awful lot of space for Gelson Martins. Cancelo's going outside of him. Ronaldo here is inside of him. Ronaldo. Nelson Martins, goalkeeper's lost it, it's gone in off Granquist, and Portugal are two to the good. Not a thing of great beauty, but it has been coming for Portugal, who've played the more eye-catching football, who've moved the ball with deftness, and who ended up here getting a rather fortunate break. Martins, as he was with the first goal, the supplier, but rather than Ronaldo being on hand to execute, the work was done for him by the Swedish captain, Andreas Granqvist. <laughs> Sebastian Larsson. It require Marathona to go plunging. Well, if he pulled one of these off tonight, the roof would come off. Ronaldo! Using Arasu over the... Pizzi. Ending up Ronaldo, goalkeepers come crashing out. Centre-halves thumping into each other. A degree of defensive carnage. And they just about got away with it. Cristiano Ronaldo was a victim of it all to a certain extent. And went through the back of him. And on another day, the Portuguese icon just might have been looking at a spot kick. Back by Taylin. This is Nicholas Holt. Taylin. Nyman in the middle. Taylin's hit. Repelled by Marathona. Nyman. And swept in for Sweden by Victor Klassen. And that makes the game of it. In a flash, Portugal undone by the counter. Marathona repelled it as best he could. Nyman kept it alive, his pass was ideally weighted. And Klaassen arrived late from midfield to score just his second international goal and reignite the contest on the island of Madeira. Jimmy Dermatz with the corner. With to Klaassen! He's nicked it in and Sweden are level! It's a really smart finish from a near prohibitive angle. Marafona may feel it is an angle he should have had covered. Nevertheless, that little Swedish enclave of support has plenty to cheer. Two goals 
on the night now. Two second half goals for Victor Klassen. And didn't he do well to get a stud on that? And to steal it in at the near post where there was precious little room. And from 2 0 down at half time, Sweden have dragged it back to 2 2. Think Victor Klassen has trebled his international goal tally. Semedo, Gomez, Karesma's push and run. Hey there. Carvalho flowing forward now, the Portuguese. Last throw of the dice. Cancelo. Pizzi. Did the keeper keep it from going behind? He did. That is probably that. Klassen. That's lovely. And Holt is round the back now for Sweden. Holt's ball in. It's bounced in. And Sweden have won it. Courtesy of a Cancelo own goal inside the last 20 seconds of stoppage time. It is a quite extraordinary turnaround. A team that trailed by two to an own goal after barely half an hour, has come from that deficit to win 3-2 by an own goal, right at the death. One full-back dashed beyond the lot of them to the line, and his pullback hit another full-back and dropped in, and faces dropped, and shoulders dropped, and heads dropped, and smiles dropped, and the whole mood falls flat it was the last meaningful touch of the game